you know, Patrick, Barry Trammell with the Oklahoma, and uh, one of the uh, off-season mantras from Sam and Billy and whatnot is that they'd like to play faster, right. uh, up-tempo. And, and they've talked about how you can help that, not necessarily because foot speed, but ball speed. You're, you're mm -hmm. one of the better ball movers. Can you talk about how that's a, that's a skill you have that could, could increase the tempo of this team, even if you're not one of the fastest guys around? Yeah, just about – trying to get the basketball from one side to the other, get the basketball up the court quickly as possible with my passing ability and being able to find guys out on the court, uh, not necessarily literally pushing in transition or having to shoot the ball, but just trying to find the right opportunity for a teammate to take advantage of, whether it's off a drive or whether it's off a quick post up or whether it's just passing it that leads to an assist or another opportunity for for a shot. So. Uh, I can understand coach, you know, wants to get more shots earlier into the shot clock or just trying to find better opportunities for us early in the shot clock. And that in turn will create more looks throughout the course of the game and give us an opportunity to put up more points. Patrick, last season with the, the roster shakeup right before camp, you know, you came in to be the starting four. Did you feel maybe a little bit uncomfortable playing the five off the bench? And, and I guess more to that point, are you excited to maybe play what's perhaps a more natural position for you at the four this season? I mean, my whole life I've played either the five or the four, you know, going all the way up into what my sophomore or junior year at, at the University of Kentucky. I was playing five. I really didn't play four until my last year at Kentucky with DeMarcus, and then I was moved to the four for the first time ever. So I'm used to playing five and four. Um, now, nowadays, the way the NBA is leaning towards is having you know either that athletic five man or having like a a six eight uh, six six you know five man who can rebound, play defense, and switch out on screens. The game's getting a lot faster. Uh, it's not really slow pace anymore. So for me, it's just being able to go out there and just play hard, um, whether I'm at the five, whether I'm at the four, uh, no matter what position I'm at, being able to move my feet and being that guy that my teammates can rely on. Patrick, Jeff Patterson with the Oklahoman. Obviously, this year is a lot different for you health-wise. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, just describe, you know, your mindset coming into the season um, versus a year ago. Yeah, so a year ago, obviously, coming off the surgery um, and having to work my way back up from that point. Uh, this off season, actually having the opportunity to have a complete off season, complete summer under my belt, focusing on my body, focus on being healthy, and then now coming into training camp and actually partaking into training camp, actually partaking in preseason and all the practices, all the workouts, all the games. So for me right now, it's just building that chemistry with my teammates on and off the court, um, on the court, just showing what I can do. Of course, shooting the ball, moving the ball, rebounding, playing great defense. And just having fun, you know. I didn't get that opportunity to let, do that last year, um, but finally this season I get that. So I just want to go out there and just be that guy that my teammates know I can be. Yeah, Patrick, the uh, pretty good off season for the Thunder with Paul George re-upping mm -hmm. is is that was that a case of you could see that coming closer and closer to fruition during last season? Could you tell that he was becoming more acclimated into the culture of the team mm -hmm. and your. Tell us your confidence level mm -hmm. at the end of the season on, on Paul coming back. Uh, honestly, I had no idea. Um, of, of course, you could see that the chemistry that him and Russ shared, uh, him and Coach Donovan shared, and the rest of the team that we all had with him. Uh, there's always that chemistry, always that friendship, that bond uh, that we shared. But at the end of the day, you don't know what's going on in his head. He's the only one who knows. So just going off of that, off of what I saw physically, I had full confidence that he was coming back just because – the way that you know we hung out together, the way we were around with one another, I believed he was coming back, but I didn't know 100%. Because like I said, you don't know what goes on in, in a person's head. Only that person does. Patrick, what's the, uh, what's the best movie you've seen this summer? Ooh, that's a great question. Mm. Best movie I've seen this summer would be, it's a movie called Farming. I saw it at TIFF. It's a true story about a young black kid who was put into a skinhead group until he was 16. So it's it's a very powerful, emotional movie. Um, hopefully you don't walk out of the theater when you see some scenes, but it's a, it's a very inspirational movie. Other questions for Pat? One more. Patrick Eric Horn, the Oklahoman. Um, mm -hmm. Billy wasn't very forthcoming about whether or not you were going to start or Jeremy was going to start, but mm -hmm. you know, considering that 
going into last season, that was the, that was the plan for you to start, and you guys had had extensive time to figure that out before Carmelo came. Is that what you want, and do you want to be that that starting power forward this season? I mean, of course, as a competitor, as an NBA player, as a guy who loves the game, I would love to start. Same thing if you ask Jeremy, he'll say the same question. But at the end of the day, as long as I have a positive role, as long as I have an impact on this team, and most importantly, as long as I'm playing, uh, whether I start, whether I come off the bench, it doesn't matter. Uh, whichever one is better for the team overall, uh, whoever fits best in that starting role with the starters and whoever fits best in, this, in the bench role with the second unit, as long as I'm playing, as long as I'm out there with those guys, whichever one I'm at, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Patrick. The uh, four of the starter, four of the starters, seem pretty well set mm -hmm. with with the four veterans. Um, the one thing that four man unit doesn't have a lot of is the three point shot. Mm -hmm. it seems like that's something you could provide. How when you're out there with those four guys, which you didn't play a lot with those four last year, but mm -hmm. when you're out there with them, how valuable do you think your shot from from uh, the three point line is? I mean, anyone at that position. Uh, Jeremy shot the ball. I thought pretty well at the four. Um, and I assume his shot's gotten a lot better working on it this summer. Uh, myself, I'm a good three-point shooter, so that four definitely has to be a good three-point shooter. Not not also, not only you know be able to play defense, move his feet, play in the post, and being able to switch out on the perimeter, but be able to space the floor, uh, pass the ball, hit open shots whenever those opportunities arise. So like I said, whether that's me, whether that's Jeremy, as long as that person who's in that spot is able to, you know, knock down threes on a consistent basis. That's the main focus. <laughs>